Hey guys, Chris Clest here. I want to demo a game I created in PowerShell. Uh, this is similar to uh, the Minesweeper game from Windows, uh, but my own version. So starting off, you have a load user screen. Uh, you can also create a new user. Uh, you can remove a user. Uh, or you can uh, quick uh, play Quick Start. Uh, which just randomly generates a, a number of rows and columns um, and a difficulty setting is random as well. Um, so the, the max uh, rows is 15, the minimum is 3. Difficulty is either easy, medium, or hard. Um, if you haven't played Minesweeper before, essentially you have to click all of the squares which are not bombs. Um, and I don't remember if the original game un revealed one at, at the beginning, but my game does. Um, you'll see a number, a big number, and a small number. The big number tells you how many bombs are adjacent to this square. So you have eight adjacent squares, including the diagonals. And so basically, two out of eight, or 25% of these are bombs. At this point, <clears throat> we don't have enough information uh, to definitively tell us where the bombs are or anything like that, so it's just luck at this point. Um, the way that I have this game set up is hard on, hard, on difficulty setting hard, um, basically 30% of the squares are bombs. Easy would be, uh, on easy mode it would be 1 out of 10, on medium it would be 1 out of 5, um, and then like I said, 30% on hard. So. There's also a, a top score uh, screen here. In this case, I haven't beat this game with these settings, and so there's no uh, scores to reveal. However, if we do beat this uh, uh, beat this game with th these settings, you'll be the uncontested champion. Um, so, like I said before, if it was a 30% chance, if you just click randomly, here was a 25% chance. I think our chances are better just clicking around here. Though, with my luck, it'll be a bomb. <laughs> so, there's a sound with this um, and an image when, you, when it blows up, and then it reveals where all the bombs are. And boy, that's a lot of bombs. Uh, so then you go back, and you can play again if you want. You can just click play now. Um, actually, let me just keep doing that and see what happens. Uh, row 6. Okay. So it doesn't uh, do random each time, just the first time. You can go back and click random again, random game. Uh, if you do not select a user and you click quick start, it defaults to player one. Let me go ahead and just uh, click my uh, profile and hit select. And you can select the number of rows, 3 to 15. You can mute the game uh, if you don't want sound. And you can select your difficulty level. I generally like playing five rows on medium. You can also save your settings. Um, so let me just give you an example. If I wanted to play eight rows on easy right now, I could just click play now, and you'll have eight rows on easy. Uh, if I go back, it's still eight rows on easy. However, if I go back again and I go back into it, now it defaults to my I guess, default settings that I had previously saved. Um, so you could, you can save them. Um, I click in here, save settings, and click yes. Now if I go back and I go back into it, or if I exit and go back into it, you'll see that it's an easy, it's muted, eight rows. Um, so let me go ahead and just show you, I'll save these settings, you don't have to save them, but um, so here is, uh, here are the stats of the previous games that I beat and the amount of seconds that it took me to beat it. Um, so, yeah, so that's, a, and it basically just shows you the, the top three, um, attempts, or the top three, uh, top three fastest games with these settings, easy, in three rows. Um, oh, so this is a zero, that means there's no bombs near it, just, uh, in case you're wondering what zero is. So that's what you get when you beat the round. It'll also show you that where the bomb is at, or confirm that. Um, as you can see, 51 out of 51 points. I'm not using this right now. 
Uh, I'm not using it to show anything. It doesn't have anything to do with the top score at this point. Maybe in the future it will for different scenarios. Um, let's just go back here. Uh, the small number, this is uh, useful, especially if you're playing uh, with more than one person. Um, so, you know, one per uh, there's some scenarios where you can definitively determine that there's a bomb. And so you can say, and so then your, your partner can say, hey, number three, square three is a bomb. So don't click there. Or six is clear, so cl click there. Um, and like a lot of things, it's, uh, you know, I'd say more fun with uh, if you have another person that you're playing with. Uh, let's see. So at the beginning, there's also show stats um, screen. So this will show you all the stats. It will show you just the top number one stat for each uh, setting. So you got three rows, easy, three rows, medium, three rows, hard, the number of seconds, which was the fastest game. Um, just for the record, um, I did not beat th uh, this game in zero seconds. Just so you know that <laughs> I was testing. Or something, maybe it was glitched, whatever. Um, I think that's, and you can exit with the X there. Um, as far as the users that are here, you can you can't remove them all. Player one will always come back. Or if I add Chris and I remove player one, Chris will be there. If I remove Chris now, player one will come back. So always, there's always uh, one user there. Oops. Um, you can actually just hit add. <laughs> uh, you can't re-add. Uh, actually, I haven't tried it with different uh, different case setting. Let me just try this if this works. No, nope. okay, so that, that's good. Quick start. Let's just uh, let's play a game. All right, so we got zero. All right, not bad for a start here. So. This one's definitely a bomb, because there's one square that's a bomb, and uh, there's only one square that's still uncovered, which means that this one's not a bomb, because if this one's the bomb, and this one's a one, it means this is the bomb. Um, so if this is the bomb, and these are the only two squares that are adjacent to this one, that means this is the bomb, which means this one's not. And if these are the two bombs uh, that's touching this one, that means this one's not the bomb. And this one's not the bomb. Um, I'm going to have to re-verify the number of seconds, um, like how this thing is counting seconds. I, I feel like I, I had played a game previously where it wasn't counting correctly, so I'm going to re-verify that. But for now, you know, I'm, I'm glad to at least just get this working. This is like my first playable game that I've ever created, um, and uh, a fun one at that. Um, I have a lot of future uh, advancements to this that I'm, I'm, at some point I'll make. Um, so I want to uh, add music to the game, besides the end of round music, or sounds, uh, which I already have some uh, pretty cool music picked out. Um, there are some open source, uh, like kind of military themed songs uh, that are really cool. Um, so I'll be adding music. Um, I want to be able to have users uh, select uh, their player, so like a, an avatar. Either they can pick one from online or I'll have some pre-selected ones that they can choose from. I want to create some scenarios in the game. Um, so basically uh, the scenario will be um, you are starting off as a private and you have to clear this minefield to allow the general to pass through. And so maybe the general will be coming from, let's say, uh, square 16, and he'll need to get to square 10. And so you'll have to clear a path directly there, and then you can click end of round, and then the general's car will be passing, or Humvee will be passing through. Um, I'm going to add some things down that line, such as um, the, a timer. I don't want to show the timer because you might get... I don't know, you get anxious looking at a timer all the time, right? 
Um, so the time will be the clock will be running uh, unless it's specifically needed to be timed for a specific purpose that says you know we got three minutes to beat this to get through whatever. But anyways, um, I want to add um, regarding like top scores and all that stuff when I when we do scenario mode, the I think the score will uh, be taken into account where if you if you want to because like the faster you beat the round the more points you'll get. So if you want to and take a chance, you can just click end of round. Even though you didn't clear all the squares, the general will pass through whatever path that you want him to take. Um, and by luck, you'll get through or you'll hit a mine. If he gets through, uh, you got a time saving bonus. Uh, if he hits a bomb, you'll have that same general, I'm hoping, or and he'll just have a smoky face, you know, and he'll... I forget what verbiage I was going to say for that, but... Uh, uh, if you beat, if you get enough points, I'm thinking that you can get promoted, which will give you some additional uh, bonuses, um, such as maybe if you get to uh, E4, which is a corporal, um, you'll have some privates to descend into the minefield, and so they can get blown up before you do, and you can continue on with the mission. Um, also, I want to add some other items uh, that you can uncover, like armor or C4 different things like that. Um, that way, when you get to a, a scenario where, you know, it's down to a 50-50 chance, um, you can at least take a blast and, and be fine. Um, and one, um, I guess, addendum to that is that uh, I'm thinking about um, creating a greater chance uh, that there's an item around a square that has a high number of bombs. So if there's, like, five bombs around this square so you know there's five bombs out of eight you know I might put a good item alongside of it so I think that would be kinda cool um, and there's completely other themes that I've thought of too such as um, let's say that instead of we're clearing a minefield let's say that this the scenario is um, <laughs> You, uh, you know, you had the house for your, the the house uh, to yourself for the weekend, um, so you partied, and for some reason you can't find your stash, <laughs> and your, I don't know, your parents are coming home or something, or whoever it is is coming home, and you have let's say three minutes to find your stash, and so instead of like revealing where the bombs are, you're reve <laughs> revealing where let's say booze or your stash or whatever it is that you're you hid and you forgot where it was, you know, or, you know, you're just, maybe you're just cleaning up before your parents get there, whatever it is, you know, uh, I can, there's a bunch of different themes along those lines. Um, another thing is, is that we can create multi-levels, so maybe hidden here, or maybe not hidden, uh, could be a stairway, you click on it and you move up and there'll be another set of, you know, it could be random or whatever, it could be another five uh, rows or it can be uh, more or less. Um, and so that'll be kind of cool. Um, if I can create a three-dimensional version of this game, you know, it'll look more like a Rubik's Cube, um, and maybe there'll be a rotate button on the side for which direction you want to rotate it, and just a, a ton of different things. Um, and I guess a very important thing that I want to do with this at some point is port this over to another language. I am using PowerShell. You pretty much have to have a Windows machine, I think, uh, to run this. Um, and it's not easy to send this to people. You know, I'll have to email it to you or something. Uh, I will have, I, I will eventually put this on GitHub. Uh, so if I put this up on GitHub, you can download it yourself. I still have to learn how to use that. Um, and then, of course, like, there's some other thing problems with this. Um, this I didn't set up this the uh, the sizing of the window is not 100 percent dynamic to like the, it's not dynamic to the resolution of your monitor. So if you have fewer a smaller resolution, this window is going to appear larger, and vice versa. So I would like to um, add that feature um, so that way it looks the same on everyone's screen. Uh, I think that's about all for now. Um, ho hopefully uh, you'll be able to play this at some point, and uh, 
at that point. Let me know if you do end up playing it. That's all.